Greetings. If you were privileged enough to be with us on uh, Sunday morning, and it may well still be on the website, uh, you will have heard some deep reflections around Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. A psalm which speaks of a shepherd who gently leads and guards his sheep through a valley and by still waters and spreads the table in the presence of those, in the words of a modern translation, that trouble us. And with that protection, the psalmist feels able to look forward to dwelling in the house of the Lord forever. A house of peace and welcome, and a table spread. Gerard Manley Hopkins, who was a Jesuit a priest, Catholic priest, and a famous poet of the mid-Victorian era, used to spend some of his time at St Bino's, which is a Jesuit house near St Asaph in, in North Wales. And he wasn't terribly happy at St Bino's. Sometimes he would walk long country walks and seek refreshment on the way. One of his walks was through the Vale of Elwy, which looks a bit like this. And here, in this poem, called In the Vale of Elwy, he meets his own place of welcome and he meets a table spread for him. I remember a house where all were good to me, God knows, deserving no such thing. Comforting smell, breathed at very entering, fetched fresh, as I suppose, off some sweet wood. That cordial air made those kind people a hood all over, as a bevy of eggs the mothering wing will, or mild nights the new morsels of spring. Why, it seemed of course, seemed of right it should. Lovely the woods, waters, meadows, coombs, vales, all the air things wear that build this world of Wales. Only the inmate does not correspond. God, lover of souls, swaying considerate scales, complete thy creature, dear, O, oh, where it fails, being mighty a master, being father, and fond. So there he is in a farmhouse, probably a bit like this one. But who knows if they were wearing that. And a table with homely produce. A bit like this one, which is entirely produce from the Vale of Elwy. Sorry about the lamb there. And, um, Apologies to vegans and vegetarians. He relaxes and becomes aware at once of two things. Both of them are in Psalm 23, and both of which speak very much to the times in which we find ourselves. The first is the welcome, which he sees in terms of the sheltering mother hen, and his own newfound shelter and security. And secondly, in the quiet, he is aware of his own shortcomings and a need to bring them to the Father heart of God, who is, as he says movingly, both father and fond. 
there for him in this quiet valley. And we pray that we will be blessed by both sooner or later.